yeah? Hello again. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Call it Providence. You're here in time to see us perform. The citizens of Gale Crossing have been kind enough to give Colette and the Echoes a stage for our first concert in Mithros. They will not be disappointed. This evening. Best of all, it's free. We've decided that everyone should share in our exploration of the Mitharan sound. Sero would prefer we charge an admission, but he's not in any position to enforce it. We'd love you to come, seeing as you're directly responsible for Colette and the Echo's formation. See you soon. surprised. Colette and the Echoes sounds a lot better than I would have ever predicted. Take care. Sure, I'll do it. I'm not sure if I'm happy about it yet. I'll let you know. Okay. I've had it with that warden Blackwood. A blowhard, a coward. He refuses to even look into my vermin issues. Farmen, rats, you know the kind. Any idiot weakling could exterminate them, given he or she has the right tools for the job. A hammer, a sword, a fireplace poker, anything. Wait a moment. Are you the exterminator? Did the warden actually hire someone to solve our problem? A noble profession. No village, castle, or ruin can go too long without the prompt removal of vermin. We all must start somewhere. Excellent. Let's talk about payment. I, uh, we, we don't have much to offer in terms of compensation, but we will do our best. Payment on proof of a successful job, of course. It's improper for money to change hands before service is rendered. I'm sure you understand. Mallory, Nina and I haven't used the warehouses in weeks because of the, um, issues. You're free to take a peek. I'm a man of great renown in my hometown, Edessa, where I was raised to expect the finer things in life until, well, we lost everything. I've taken it upon myself to reclaim my family's fortune and its honor, one transaction at a time. Needless to say, it's going very slowly. Very slowly. Come again. Cold out there. I'm probably not the first to tell you this. But you aren't dressed nearly well enough to fend off this chill. Listen, I've got the gear you're looking for. Clothes, armour, potions. I'll treat you fairly, outlander or not. But our clothes at sundown. Most of us in Gale Crossing do. And if you're smart, you'll find a safe space to hole up to. Nobody should be out after dark. You haven't heard? Well, seeing as you're a guest in Gale Crossing, let me be the first to warn you. Beware the night Barghest, the bane of Three Winds Crutch. They say it's cursed, victim of a witch's dark vengeance. Emerges with the light of the moon and stalks the village till sunrise. Around here, hunting the night Barghest is practically a pastime. It's what all the young folk do after filling their bellies with wine. Legend tells us that it makes its lair up near Three Winds Crutch. But no one knows for sure. My advice? Stay safe in the village, and don't mention it to those fools, Roth and Beatrice. You'll be better off. Young lovers. Drunk on love and ale, those two. Think themselves immortal. No fear, no brains. Every night they venture into the crags to search for the night bar guest. 
They wish to slay the beast and become part of its legend. During the day, you can find them in the Gemstone Tavern, draining their cups of liquid courage. I've never seen the creature with my own eyes, but I've heard it's a bar guest. Could be a spirit, or a jotun. Even a practical joke, for all I know. Its first victim is believed to be old Niles McNutter, who disappeared into the foothills months ago. I'm a merchant and trader, originally from the Wolds, in Dallantarth, a small village called Aiton. When lawlessness grew too taxing, I picked up my business and headed west. I took refuge here one stormy night, as I crossed the mountains with a wagon of my finest fares. I found warmth and opportunity. Haven't left since. It's been nearly ten years now. Goodbye for now. yourself and be peaceful. I am Ursa, and this is the White Dove. Do you struggle with an affliction that requires healing? I grew up in the dust of Detir in the caves of the Red Marches. I lit out for the West as soon as I could. It is a divine art. Those with the gift are born with it. And the skill is passed down from generation to generation. Always here for you. through this village several times in the past, on the long journey from the Hessen River east to the foothills, but I had never seen it like this. The people carry the weight of the whole region's fear upon their shoulders. Bandits roam the forests and leave the corpses of their victims in the tall grass, where scavengers suffer and die. Gone are the days of the great Sative Road, of fat bundles and merry gatherings, the only ones celebrating in Gale Crossing are the coffin makers.
to the crossing. I hear Arella Axel is back in town, if you need a guide. Beware the night Vargas. Welcome to the crossing. Take a look and let me know if you'd like to purchase anything. <laughs> Don't linger here. Oh, look at this fresh face. Still got the glow of the east. Tell me, Freshy. You been in Mithros long? Toenails fallen off yet? <laughs> Name's Mallory. This is my family's place, the Gemstone Tavern. You need anything? You talk to me. Kidding with me. <laughs> Agarth, that old drunk who wrecked my place not but two days ago. Damn outlanders. Yeah, he was here, though I was glad to see the back of him. The warden and a few brutes dragged that sloppy fate weaver off to Madding Wind. <laughs> Serves him right. <laughs> it's an old Mitharan ruin, east of the village, through the switchbacks, over the river. They say it used to be in a rothy reliquary. All the oldest, shiniest junk. A rothy never wanted anybody going in, and now the preordained don't want nobody coming out. I've got no patience for bullies. We've done fine here in Mithros without Telogris and his band of merry cutthroats. Whenever they roll into town, there's mayhem. 
don't believe it. But this tiny town has been here for centuries. The only way station between the city and the Feylands. A warm hearth and a cold drink. Safety from the storm. Lived here all my life. Born and raised at the base of these mountains. I'm Almain, but I've got cousins among the Mitharans. You've got to be close out here to keep warm. Interesting. So you're looking for dirt on the prism. What does that make you? An escape artist, honestly. The best way to go to jail is to commit a crime. No easier way than that. Unless you're willing to pay, of course. <laughs> All right then. Now you're speaking my language. Listen. Warden Blackwood, he's the law in Gale Crossing, and he does his drinking here at the Gemstone. I overhear a lot. I'd talk to him. Maybe, maybe not. You'll need to hand over some coin to find out which. That's right, hand it over. Oh, something so nice about a heavy pocket. So, I know some of the village merchants use madding wind as free storage, but I'm not sure who. I'd ask around. Really? <laughs> I should charge you again. Warden Blackwood is the only one with the key to the place. But I know a few others in town know how to get in. Merchants. But they're not forthcoming with that information. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> Greetings, Outlander.
Good, not my problem though. Come back any time. Welcome to the crossing.
day. You're welcome to use the forge, unless you're preordained. Then you'll have to go elsewhere. I mean it. That's a loaded question. What haven't they done? Nothing's been the same since those killers set foot in Gale Crossing. Listen, I work closely with some concerned parties in the region. They have a standing offer. Every member of the preordained carries a talisman on their person. Proof of allegiance to Delogus. Small, silver, cheap. But if you can get your hands on some of these talismans, I'll pay you good money in trade. And the bounty is open to anyone. Now, let's change the subject. My husband and I moved here from the plains ten years ago. We were raised travellers. But as we got older, the life didn't suit us. We left Moon Camp and settled here in the village. It was perfect. Quiet and calm. The ideal place to start over. I can hardly speak of it. What they've done. But I must, to preserve the memory of my beloved, Aaron. They arrested him under false charges and locked him away in madding wind. I never heard from him again. They said he tried to escape, that they killed him out of self-defence, but it's a lie. He was butchered. We loved it, until Telogras arrived with his brood. Since then, it's been nothing but chaos. Isn't that what they promise? Most of the town carries on as normal. But the fear never releases any of us from its cruel grip. Daru, bless you.